Hello and welcome to the last part of our video tutorial. In this last video we're going to fix a few bugs that we've had in previous parts of our program. So first we're going to edit our new get in boat method to make our camera follow our boat around so that we can't drive it around off the screen and get lost. So click on your character in the object tree and then click edit next to get in boat. Now just click on the camera in the object tree, click on its properties tab, and drag its vehicle property into the method editor. Once again, just select rowboat, and then the entire rowboat. This will glue your camera to the rowboat in the same way that your character is glued to the rowboat, so that it will follow the rowboat around. Now drag in a do together, and drag both of our camera methods into the do together, so that both camera operations happen at the same time. Now we're about to make a lot of changes that we will want to look at one by one. So change your when the world starts event to run your character's get in boat method first. Now click play and watch how the camera follows the boat as you move it around. Now we're going to actually move our character into the boat. So find the method move to in your character's method pane. Drag it into the method editor. Select rowboat, the entire rowboat. This will make your character move to the rowboat. Press play to test this, and we'll see that our character moves, but doesn't seem to quite be sitting right. Move to moves your character's center to another object's center. Now Alice considers my character's center to be his feet. To make him sit more realistically, I'm going to have to make him move down. You should look at how your character is sitting in the boat and move him or her up or down accordingly. So I'm going to drag in one of my character's move methods from the method pane, and then I'm going to choose down and one half meter. I'll test this, and he seems to sit in the boat pretty well, except that he's not facing the right way, so we'll fix that next. Remember that you might have to do something different than down half a meter. You might have to say go up half a meter or down a quarter of a meter. Just keep testing until he looks right. Anyway, to make my character face the front of the boat, I'm going to use the orient to method. Drag this into your method pane, and again select rowboat, the entire rowboat. This will make your character face the same direction that the rowboat is facing. Now drag your move to method and your orient to method into the do together so that things run more smoothly. We're going to leave the move down or the move ups outside of the do together because if we run that at the same time as the move to, then it will have no effect. So press play. And it should run smoothly. Press stop and change your when the world starts event to back to running my first method because our get in boat method is now finished. Now all that we have to do to finish the program is have the shark swim ominously in circles around the island. So open your world.surprise method by going to world and clicking edit next to surprise. Now click on shark in the object tree and find shark.think. We'll use this one instead of say because sharks can't talk. Drag it into the bottom, select other, and type rats. I'll just have to wait here. The idea is that the character has moved his boat away from the shark, and the shark is saying, darn, he's moved away. You can obviously change this text once again to something a little bit more creative. Now drag in shark turn to the bottom, then select left, choose other, and type in 10 revolutions. Right now your shark will just be spinning in place, so we're going to click more. Select as seen by for now, and choose island, the entire island. This will make your shark swim circles around the island instead of swimming circles around himself. Now change the duration of this method call by clicking on more, duration, going to other, and change it to 50 seconds so that he swims around pretty slowly. 
Now if you want, you can also experiment with the style of this swimming, which will just tell the shark how it should move. Changing the style to abruptly should make this movement more realistic, but you should also experiment with different styles later. Now, in that bottom line of advanced coding structures, find the one on the far right that is just two slashes. We use this icon to write comments in our program. Comments are usually used to explain things in our code, and they aren't executed when the program runs. I'll drop one above that last command, and click where it says no comment, and change that to as seen by makes the object do an action relative to a different object's center, which now explains the line of code that we wrote right before. You should drag and drop a double slash to a different place in the method editor and write a short explanation of the line below it. Finally, before we run our program for the last time, I'm going to show you how to move object parts. First, look over to your object tree and find the island. Click on the plus sign next to it. You'll see that the palm tree is its own object on the island subtree, and when you click on it, it is just boxed by itself in the world. If you click the plus sign next to it, you'll see that the coconuts and the palm fronds are also their own objects. Click on coconut one, and you'll see that it even has its own methods down in the details pane that can be used like any other object's methods. Right click on coconut one in the object tree, choose methods, move, down, other, and then type 2.25 in the calculator that shows up. And when you press OK, it's going to drop to the ground in the viewer. Turning and moving object parts is a good way to make fluid, complex animations. We could, for example, make the shark's tail wag or our character wave just by building a new method out of object parts methods. Anyway, we just put in our last command, so congratulations, you've just made your first Alice World. Press play to test it, and we'll see that everything that we've programmed so far occurs. We'll do is flip, we'll press S for a surprise. And now the shark should circle around the island once we ride away. I hope that you continue to experiment with this Alice world, and that you check out some of the videos on the Duke Alice website. They'll teach you how to make beautiful sunsets, or build awesome video games, or do crazy programming things that you could never imagine. If you have a computer at home, you can download Alice version 2.3, not 3.1, off of alice.org and continue to dream up many more worlds where magical, impossible things happen. As one of the creators of Alice once said, it's important to dream, dream big, and dream without fear. For now though, just click stop once again, do file, and save world. Congrats on finishing your first Alice tutorial.